Hey students, it's Ms. Parker again from Cleveland Central Middle School, and this time I'm here with a tutorial on how to find the theme of a text and trace its development. So let's get started. As with every video, remember to feel free to pause and or rewind at any time if you miss something that I say or you need more time to take notes or answer a question. Today we're going to delve into RL 7.2, which is to determine the theme or central idea of a text and analyze its development over the course of the text, and also to provide an objective summary of the text. For today, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be more confident with being able to determine the theme of a text and to track its development. Remember that in this video, we're only going to focus on theme. We'll review summarization strategies in next week's video. When you think about theme, think about it as the lesson or message of a story. A tip to help you find it is to pay attention to what the main character learns throughout the story. Just a couple tips and strategies to help you um, figure out the theme. First of all, you need to remember that a theme emerges or is revealed, and then it's shaped or refined and developed by specific details. And as you get to be a stronger reader and a stronger close reader, <clears throat> it will be easier for you to be able to pick up on the theme early on and then be able to um, track it as the story goes on. Um, people that have been reading a long time and who are really practiced with this, um, it comes easily for them. But as you're practicing, it's OK to have to read the story all the way through and then kind of work backwards. Some things that you can ask yourself are how does the main character change over the course of the text and what does the main character learn over the course of the text? Another thing is that themes help readers understand the story's plot and motivations of the characters. And as I just said, sometimes it's helpful to complete a plot diagram like we talked about in a previous video first so that you can understand the major events of the story and then use that information to help you figure out the theme. Themes help readers connect the story with their own lives. So when you know a message like the importance of friendship or a theme like honesty and the value of telling the truth even when it's hard, if you can figure out that that's the theme of a story and you can relate to it personally, it allows you to be able to get in deeper with that text and connect with it on a deeper level so that you get more out of it. And finally, themes force readers to dig deeper below the surface of the text to gain understanding. So all of these standards with RL 7.1 through 7.3 are asking you to go beyond just being a base reader, meaning that you um, simply just read for basic comprehension, being able to spit out facts about what happened in a story. Um, these standards are asking you to dig deeper to figure out how all of these various things are going together and interacting with one another to help build the story. Now, one way that will help you be able to um, figure out the theme of stories is that if you start familiarizing yourself with some common themes. So just a very quick review. A theme is the message, moral, or lesson of the story. Sometimes it's directly stated explicitly like we just learned in the last video which means that they come right out and tell you okay um beauty is only skin deep or don't judge a book by its cover okay but sometimes it's implied where you have to look at what happens in the story and what the characters go through to figure out what the theme is now we have some common themes here like acceptance which is a lot of stories that deal with bullies courage compassion honesty, kindness, respect, um, uh, responsibility, being responsible for your actions, never giving up. If you're a fan of those movies or books that are about athletes, oftentimes um, this is a common theme. And then one that most everybody can relate to, friendship and the value of friendship and not wanting to jeopardize friendship for trivial arguments or things like that.
So if you want to work along with me, you can find iReady Lesson 7 in the mini lesson section of your Google Classroom. So to practice, let's take a look at this, um, this newspaper clipping. And all we have to go on is just the heading, which says daily practice and encouragement transform struggling team into league champions. Now, just in that one statement, there's a whole lot of information that I as a reader can use to help figure out what the theme is. Okay. So first, we can look at their beginning of season and end of season. Okay, just in that one statement, we know how they were at the beginning, how they were at the end, and we also learn information on how they change and what causes that change from beginning to end. So at the beginning of the season, we, we see that they were struggling. At the end of the season, we see that they're league champions, which means that they were successful. Now, we also learn that the reason for that change is because they had practice every day and a whole lot of encouragement from their coach. So if I put all that together, I can see that the theme is hard work and the support of others can lead you to success. Now I want to take a minute to look at this bottom portion right here. And just as a winning team develops over time, an author develops a theme over the course of the story. As you read, note clues such as how a character changes or how a story, how story events develop to help you identify the theme or lesson about life that the author is trying to share. Let's take a look at this excerpt from the story A Different Day. This is about how a boy named Mick deals with a difficult situation. Hand over your lunch money, kid. Mick stopped daydreaming and looked in the direction of the voice. In front of him was an all-too-familiar scene. Aaron was picking on Jake, just as he did every day at recess. But that was okay with Mick because at least Aaron was not picking on him. It was also fine because everyone picked on Jake. That's just how things were around here, the accepted norm. In fact, every school had, he had ever attended had, had a kid like Jake, someone who was an obvious target and easy to tease and bully. Today was different, though, because Jake was standing tall, acting brave, and trying to stick up for himself. Aaron responded by getting nastier and louder as he hurled insults at Jake. He pushed forward, forcing Jake backwards and jabbing him in the chest. Jake looked terrified, and Mick could see that Jake's lips were stretched thin as he tried not to let anyone see he was close to yelling for help, or worse, sobbing. But to make surprise, Jake was, was, wasn't backing down. Now it's time for you to practice. Pause this video and take a few minutes to complete this on your own based on what we just read, and resume when you're ready to check your answers. Before you do, take a quick look at this question at the top. What theme is emerging in this part of the story? Pay attention to Mick's feelings and observations about the boy's actions. Okay, so Mick is watching this exchange between the bully Aaron and Jake, who is a student who's also getting bullied. And he sees that Jake is acting differently than he would any other day. And this has a really big impact on Mick. So pay attention to that to help you figure out how to fill out the rest of the chart. And go ahead and resume the video when you're ready to check and see if you're right. All right, guys, so I did a little side by side, so hopefully you will be able to kind of follow along with me as I walk you through my thought process. So at the beginning of the story, we see that Aaron, the bully, is demanding uh, Jake's lunch money. And we also kind of get the impression that Mick has also been bullied by Aaron in the past. Okay. And we see that Mick watches Aaron pick on Jake. And Mick feels the situation is okay because everyone picks on Jake. And if he's picking on Jake, then that means that he's not going to be bullying Mick. <clears throat> and then if we look at the middle of the story, which is in this last paragraph right here, Mick is surprised because today Jake is not acting the way that he typically acts. We see that Jake is standing up to Aaron. And when he stands up to Aaron, Aaron pushes forward, forcing Jake backwards and jabbing him in the chest. So Jake is trying to stand up to Aaron. And the more that Jake stands up to Aaron, the more angry Aaron becomes. Aaron gets louder and meaner and begins to get physical. 
Now, for theme, in a story like this, you might think that, okay, well, this is going to be those typical stories about standing up to bullies and defending yourself, right? But when Mick is watching this interaction between Jake and Aaron, it's not making him feel like it's worth it to stand up for himself because all he sees is that Jake is just having to endure um, worse treatment from Aaron than on a typical day when he just gives Aaron what he wants. So in this case, I'm going to put all of this stuff together. And for me, the theme that's developing is that Mick is learning that it's usually safer to avoid conflict than seek it out. Because Mick has learned and has observed from interactions with Jake and Aaron that on the days that Jake just gives him the lunch money, yeah, Aaron might bully him a little bit, but then it's over. Today, because Jake has decided to try to stand up to Aaron, he sees that um, Aaron is making Jake's life a whole lot harder. So now it's time for you to get some extra practice. So as always, you can complete the extra practice in the remainder of this packet that you can find inside your Google Classroom. It's that easy, guys. Determining themes help us to be better readers. If you want even more practice, you can check out Pixar Shorts on YouTube like we've looked at before, both in class and in one of the previous videos. They're great at helping practice theme. And be sure to tune in next week for the video on summarizing. See you soon.